on guys town back here and i know a little late but you know you know what they always say better late than never so this is the uh question and answers to the uh question video that i asked you guys probably about three or four weeks ago unfortunately long time ago i know but uh about my it was during my 5,000 sub <clears throat> thank you video and i simply wanted you guys to ask some questions if you ever had some and I will be answering those again if you join my stream in two weeks on the 23rd uh, for most of you guys, but it's going to be the 24th Japan time. And uh, so I just wanted to do the uh, video, uh, the answer video part to those who maybe can't make the stream or you don't have that great of internet for Twitch streaming because I know a lot of people don't. So <clears throat> this is just for you guys as well. So uh, part of it will be just kind of random gameplay from either Dokken or other games that I've played with the camera in the top right corner. Or it might be a little live like this. I might do a few just like this. But I figured you don't want to stare at a screen with Goku Super Saiyan 2 doing a Kamehameha wave for the entire time. So, uh, I will do the first few questions like this. And then I'll just kind of switch over to the other gameplay. And yeah, there might be some cuts in it. But yeah. So, uh, let's get started. Alright, so let's get this video started here. Um, I don't have the names. I, sim I was simply copying the uh, questions off of YouTube onto a Word document so I could read it. And also, a lot of you guys ask the same questions. So, if I don't read your question per you know word for word it's simply because i've answered it already just simply from the first one i saw so first question will be uh what made you start youtube um good question actually so i only started youtube about a month or so when i was still back in america right after college actually i had this new computer i just built and i thought you know what i want to try making some videos and stuff you know i've always I've been watching YouTube videos since, you know, the end of high school, and I was like, you know what, you know, I just want to see what it's like, you know, is, is it as easy as everyone says, is it as hard as everyone says, you know, so I just want to kind of try that out, and for a while, it was actually really fun, just playing games with my friend, you know, my friends, and going about and everything, but then I moved, and, you know, I intended to start it back up, but I was, I just never really got back into it, and then, uh, after a while, I started, I then got into Dokken, which I'll get into later about why I got into it. And I started watching videos and I noticed that watching a lot of people, like they're kind of just guessing, like, like don't get me wrong, I think it's great that people will try to play a game where they don't really understand the language sometimes. But um, a lot of, you know, uh, I always saw the same questions over and over again. How do you know what this leader skill is? How do you know what this passive skill is? How do you know what this says? And I thought to myself and I said, well, I'm not an expert at Japanese by any means, but I kind of get the idea of what, you know, all the cards say and, you know, what the Doken event might be and everything. So I thought, you know what, why not? I can take my Japanese skills that I've learned over the past five or six years and apply it to some videos, you know, because they always tell you when, you, you know, if you ever watch any YouTube videos or from, talk to anyone about saying, how did you start YouTube? It's like, you have to bring something to the table that no one else can bring or that very few people bring themselves. And it's like, well, I can kind of translate some Japanese for you guys. I can do the events, show you how I go about it. And it's not perfect by any means, and I'm not perfect. But, you know, it kind of gives you an idea of how to go about it. And, you know, hopefully I can help you guys. So that was kind of how I got back into it. And once I started doing it again, it was, it's a lot of fun. It, it really is a lot of fun doing this um, just as a hobby right now. Nowhere near even trying to do this part-time. I have a full-time job and all that. So, but yeah, that's kind of just how I got started. So... Uh, the next question is, uh, will you ever bring Xenoverse 2 to your channel? Um, I'm waiting for the beta to come out, whenever it comes out, or the demo, or whatever you want to call it. And I can bring it, um, but I'm not really sure how to bring tips and tricks on that kind of stuff. That's more just kind of playing the game. And I could start to stream more, which I really want to do. I've been crazy busy these past few months. But I would like to start doing some more streaming, especially since it's going to be winter, and it's going to be really cold, and you're just like, eh, I don't want to go outside. But um, I could start doing that, and then maybe, you know, I thought to myself, maybe if I hit 10,000 uh, subscribers, I could do, like, a Patreon account, and maybe if, like, you guys, I don't know, if someone su subs for, I don't know, $10 a month or something like that, I will add you to a Discord channel, and I'll play some Xenoverse with you or something, and you can talk, and we can chat, and all that stuff. So, I don't know, it's still very early stages of the process, but let me know what you guys think about that. Um, but I plan to bring a little bit of it. Um, I'm not going to be able to, like I said translate everything because actually i believe global gets the game before we do here in japan so uh yeah but let me know if you guys have any ideas of what i could bring personally to xenoverse 2 unless you just simply just want me to play the game then by all means uh next question okay first question is uh all your time on Dokken battle what do you believe is the best team in all of Dokken? and any advice for a new newcomer on the game having a hard time uh so the 
best team currently for well, okay, I'll break this into two sections. Uh, I'll do, I'm going to just leave this in, Jap in, Jap in the Japanese game because there are a lot more people who focus on global than I do. And I don't know what is considered the best team for global right now because I know you guys are kind of just starting to catch up, but then you're starting to fall behind, and I'm not really sure what's going on there. So in terms of for Japan, the best team right now is a mono agility team with Super Vegito, unfortunately. Gogeta's kind of fallen by the wayside. He's still a great card. Do not get me wrong on that. But currently where it is right now with the uh, new leaders coming out, the ones that are, you know, like it's Vegito replaces Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you know, uh, Brawly uh, replaces Full Power Frieza, although Full, pa Full Power Frieza is still a beast of a card. Uh, Gotenks replaces Cell, although Cell is a nuker, so, uh, and that, you know, we'll have to see what happens at the end of year two. You know, some people are saying that they're not going to add a... Uh, plus three key to all HP attack and defense because that would just be hugely overpowered Others are saying they will you know, it's really hard to say So in terms of the best team right now, that is what it's gonna be but give it another month or so and it could just Fly out the window so hard to say uh, And then any advice for a newcomer that's having a hard time uh, Okay, this is gonna sound like a bit of a cheap way of saying this but essentially if you want a, a good time to start the game look at it during a good doken fest when they're giving out a bunch of free stones and everything roll get a decent amount of ssrs and then start to uh complete the story mode level your guy up collect more stones that way wait for some good banners don't just summon on any banner you happen to see wait for good banners see what the rates are and then summon to you know make your odds even better okay that will get you more characters, you can train them up, you can Doke and Awaken them, you can Awaken them. And yes, Doke and Awaken and Awakening are two totally different things. And then you will be fine and you'll actually be able to go uh, through most of the events. Um, I always tell, you know, I always tell some people in the long run, if you don't have the car for say the newest event, like say you don't have the Buhan uh, medals, or you don't have the Buhan or a Boo to Doke and Awaken, but you want to be Buhan, I know, I know the argument is to, well, if I, if I beat him now and get the medals, I'll eventually pull him. You can only really pull those Doken Fest cards when the, when, when the banner comes back. And usually when the banner comes back, the event comes back. So, yes, sometimes they bring it along and the banner won't be there. But overall, I think it's, I say it's easy just to wait. Or if you wait a while and then the banner, or the <clears throat> event comes back, but the banner's not back and you have a better team, then yeah, go for it by all means. But don't, don't feel like you have to do it right away. Um, unless you have the card and it's okay to wait the events always come back They are never gonna just never be there again heck I see it in the you know by the time this game is, is reaching the end of its life All the events are gonna be out. So yeah by all means so hopefully that helps a little bit with uh, Helping any kind of newcomers. So uh, next question. How old are you? What's your job if you want to talk about that? Who inspired you to make YouTube videos? Uh, how old am I? I am in my 20s. I'm 25 right now uh, what is my job? I teach. And who inspired me to make YouTube videos? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I mean, when I was in college, because that's when I really started watching YouTube. Um, let's see. I mean, for the most part, it was just kind of random channels I was watching. I more just watched videos. I didn't really sub to any channels. I think the first few channels I really subbed to were like Pixel Enemy and... Uh, level cap gaming Matimio, uh and some others and i just kind of watched their videos and it, it was always fun just to listen to them you always get a crack at them i mean if any of you if you guys know who i am even talking about people like level cap and Matimio, they focused on they focus on battlefield essentially and i remember watching them when they were at like 16,000 subs 17,000 subs level cap now has over 1 million subs and i think Matimio is at like 700,000 or something like that it was just really fun watching them, you know, they're just two, you know, they don't always do videos together, but they're two normal guys, they chat, and they just had a blast, and I was like, that looks so much fun to do, and, you know, I'll get into this later about what I'm going to do besides just Doken in the future, but I, I would love to do that eventually, I would love to find someone, even if they don't record or do YouTube, I would love to find some people to make a squad with, to chat, play other games with, it'd be a lot of fun, and I really hope I can do that, you know, I'm hoping to maybe branch out to some other Doken YouTubers and maybe just do a couple summon videos here and there. You know, I can't do that like every day or anything like that, like a lot of other uh, YouTubers can. But I think it'd just be cool and fun, you know, it kind of brings more of the community together and everything. It's kind of a good way just to branch out and meet people. I mean, it's, 
it's it's great. So, um, in terms of who inspired me, usually I, those are the three, those are the two guys that are off the top of my head, but those are the three that I kind of subbed to at first, and that's kind of what just got me interested in YouTube in the first place. So, uh, next question is, hey Talon, what got you into Dokken, and what's your favorite card? Ooh, my favorite card. God, that's a hard one because I want to say Super Vegito because Super Vegito has been, always been my favorite character. Uh, but in terms of my favorite card, oh well, okay, I guess the screen's gonna move for a bit because out of the characters I have, um, can I do a top three? I know, I know, it's not exactly the greatest, but I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna do top three. Uh, <clears throat> one of my favorites is this Super Saiyan three Goku. Had him for a long time. Great card when he's Dogen. I personally think he's actually better than the agility one. Uh, especially after that whole seven turn fiasco. My second, and this is in no particular order, another favorite card of mine is this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, simply, he was, he was one of my very first uh, SSRs. And he just has a great, uh, lead, he has a great leader skill. Everyone key plus two. I mean, back when he originally came out, great, great card. You know, good passives. And then, especially if your key is five or above, uh, everyone gets attack plus 2,000 great card back in the day and he's still a great card i still use him quite a bit um and then my third one uh third card i'm gonna have to go with oh man this is a hard one uh i'm gonna have to go with the super saiyan blue uh goku here and yes i am gonna go doken and i know he's fairly new but uh, I just like the art style on me. so badass. He's kind of just standing there like, dude, bring it on. You know you can't take me. So those are going to be my three favorite. Those are my three favorite cards, I would say. I have half based on art, half based on uh, abilities and everything. So yeah, those would be my uh, my favorite cards. Next question is, what is your favorite anime? Um, My, ne my favorite anime? Hmm. Well... About a year ago, my favorite anime actually was a little basketball anime called uh, Kuroko no Basuke, which is, uh, in English, is Kuroko's Basketball. And I, it's not in the U.S., you can only really watch it here in Japan, but it was just really cool. I, I really like watching it. I read the manga all in Japanese, and it was it was always a really cool manga. I mean, I like Naruto, I like One Piece, I like all those kind of things, you know, my typical mangas, but, you know, that was definitely one of my favorites, I think, so. Uh, next question is... Do you have any other hobbies outside of YouTube? Uh, yes, I do have a bunch of hobbies outside of YouTube, actually. Uh, I'm really big into sports, so I play soccer, basketball, and volleyball as my three main sports. But I pretty much can play anything. Uh, if, you know, someone was like, hey, we're going to play a quick game, want to join? Uh, I love running. I go running a lot. Uh, I like to go hiking, which I haven't been able to do as much because where I currently live, I don't have access to a car. And I have to use trains and buses to get everywhere, which is fine. And I love the transportation system here. But I would love to get back into that if possible. Uh, what else do I like to do? I like to just hang with friends. You know, I like to cook, actually. I'm really into cooking. Um, especially, like, baking stuff. Like, I made cookies and things since I was, like, 10 years old. So that's always really fun. You know, just kind of an overall normal guy. So, yeah, those, those are pretty much mo those are most of my hobbies uh, that I like to do outside of just being doing YouTube and stuff. Uh, do you enjoy Dokken doing Dokken for YouTube. Uh, yes, I do enjoy doing Dokken for YouTube. Uh, it's always been really fun. It's kind of cool to take my Japanese skills that I've learned and kind of, you know, show you guys, hey, by the way, if anyone has any, you know, doesn't really know what this is or, you know, you're confused about what this might mean, you hear it, you know, this is what I've been able to translate at least. You know, there are other people that do the same thing as well, but this is the best of my ability and I hope it can help you guys. So, and it's always been really fun. I still enjoy it to this day. If I wasn't enjoying it, I would have told you guys already, hey, I don't like doing this, but... I, I do like doing it. I do like doing it a lot. Uh, but I would like to start getting into other games. Uh, maybe if Battlefield 1 turns itself around, I would. Or, you know, I like today, like to, even today, by the, uh, earlier today, right before I'm making this video, I was playing Battlefield 4 on Twitch, but I was talking about Dokken with some people who just came into the chat and everything. And it was really fun. We After Dokken for a while, we talked about, you know, other games and just, you know, it's it fun just chatting and everything. And, you know, I, I hope that when I do my 10 hour stream and everything, when you guys see that, that, you know, even if I'm not playing the game you want to see, you can still come in and chat with me. So I can answer questions, I can help you and all that stuff. And so, you know, it's, it's just a cool place to come and hang out and chat and everything. So 
Uh, in terms of other games, you know, I definitely want to get into others. Just really don't know it yet. I feel like either multiplayer or this type of game has to be the one because it has a longer lifespan than a simple single player game. But don't, hey, I'm not just in single player games. I love my single player games, trust me. Just in terms of helping and, you know, showing teamwork or tips and all that kind of stuff, you're more likely to see that in multiplayer games and everything. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. So, uh, the next question is, I want to learn Japanese soon. How difficult would you say it is to learn? Hmm, how difficult is Japanese? Uh, well, it depends on the teacher. Uh, depends how dedicated you are to learning it. And yeah, I would say it's not terribly hard, but it's not easy. Uh, I've studied Japanese now for about six years or so. I studied two years in high school, and then I studied three years in college, and then I moved here. And uh, overall, I would say if you get the chance, study abroad. It definitely helps you. I don't care if anyone says, oh, studying abroad doesn't help your Japanese. It does, but you have to get out there and you have to use it. Don't, if you go to study abroad, don't stick with the Americans or the Europeans or whoever you came in with and just stick with them all the time. Branch out, broaden out, go out into the city, go out into the town, wherever you might be, and just start using it. Start reading things. You know, you'll see Japanese every single day if you're here, and it's great. So, definitely, um, I, I say it's a very good language to learn. Uh, especially if you want to come out here or you're very interested in, you know, manga or anime or anything like that or games. So, you know, definitely go for it. And I can recommend some books. So whoever asked this question, I'm sorry, I couldn't really read the name. But uh, if you're in, if you're watching this video, reply or if anyone, for that matter, if anyone wants to learn Japanese, uh, leave, leave, it, leave a question down below and I will leave links to the Japanese books that I use during college. And they're very helpful. I still use them to this day, actually. So very good books, very helpful. And... Just stick with it a bit, and it can feel intimidating at first sometimes, but just keep trying at it, and it will come, it will come to you. And feel free to ask any questions as well, so.